So Photoshop does release the latest version, which is do around this time every year. So you just drop the 2025 Photoshop version, which is an advanced version of 2024. So I've actually downloaded it and tested it out. And here is my favorite tools when it comes to the 2025 version. Though every other tools are similar, something I love about Photoshop is that the same interface you're using in the previous version will be the same interface you'll be using on the new version, just slight differences. So you'll be able to navigate through the older version you'll be using or the newer version you just downloaded. So you won't actually confuse you. And there's even an option of you bringing in your workspace from the previous uh, Photoshop you're using to the new Photoshop, which is very, very nice. And they actually do not improve most things when it comes to the tool, our pick tool. Most of the tools are still there. They just advance their AI features, just like the remove tool, which is the new tool they brought in. And also, here's my favorite part of it all, which I'll be making mention of. of course. You guys know I'm more of a manipulator than a major editor when it comes to photography industry. My favorite tool is the uh, Adobe Firefly, whereby we generate backdrop, we generate pictures. In the previous year, we actually we were able to generate some backdrops in Photoshop, but not giving us some actually advanced uh, features to actually generate with. It's not giving us to upload an F reference image. If you want to do that, you have to go to the Adobe Firefly on the Adobe Cloud, to, on the Adobe Store to actually do what, to generate the pictures you want and to actually add reference. But right now, they have inputted the panel into Photoshop whereby you can bring in, you can try to type in the prompt to generate the backdrop and you can give it a reference on the type of backdrop you want it to generate for you. And it's going to give you something perfectly for your background manipulation. With this right now, I don't think buying background or getting overly is going to save you some cost. So you just have to generate the backdrop yourself, see a backdrop online, import into your Photoshop as a reference image, type in the prompt you want for the background to generate for you. And with just a few clicks, you're done with that. You know, before, if you want to generate an X, a backdrop, you have to go to the site, go to the Adobe Creative Cloud, then go to Adobe Firefly, then generate it outside Photoshop. For now, you can just do everything here in Photoshop right now. Probably I want to generate a studio backdrop. I just need to click on this new button that is over here. Click on generate image. You see, it's going to load up this prompt for me. If you are familiar with some of the video I dropped in the past, whereby I go to the Adobe Creative Cloud, then Firefly to actually generate backdrop. I'm actually doing this directly from Photoshop. And let me show you how this works. So probably I want to generate a new studio backdrop. I just click on generate. Generate a studio backdrop. Backdrop. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to click on photo, then I'm going to give it a reference image, the type of image I want it to generate for me. So I'll just come to the reference image, I click on it, then I'll go to choose, then I'll go to my file manager. So let's pick a picture and see what it's going to generate for us. Let's pick something, let's pick something. So I think, let me say I want something like this right now. I just have to click on my open. I'll click on open, wait for it to load up. Once it does, then I'll click on generate and see what it's going to generate for me. And boom, look at what it did for us. It generates a very, very nice image for me. Look at how it gives us a very, very perfect image. I can use this as an overlay. You can see, and I can switch. It generates three variants for me. As you can see, the second variant. Check out the third variant also. So you can generate as many backgrounds as possible to use for a studio picture. And the best thing, you can actually save this as JPEG or as PNG. What you just need to do right now is just to export your image. Then you have, a, you have a nice background already. And you can generate as many as possible. With this right now, I don't think you need to actually or choose any background again. You can also see a sample of background probably on Pinterest or anywhere that you bring it to Photoshop. Then you do something like this. So let's move on to the next feature also. And it also can, comes in with the Camera Raw 17.0 version. So another thing I noticed about the new Photoshop that comes with the new Camera Raw 17.0 is the new features when it comes to color grading, which is the Adobe uh, Adobe Adaptive Beta. This does do what? Probably your pictures are exposed. It gives you a start up when it comes to color grading. It's going to color grade your picture for you. Just a bit for it to actually know where to start from. So let me click on the adaptive right now. As you see, it's going to load adapt updating AI settings. So it's going to apply a little bit of settings on your picture. Adjust it a little bit for you. So you can start your color grading. And boom. Look at what it did to us right now. It actually balanced the lighting of the picture. So I can just start my color grading from here. Instead of me starting from the exposure again, I can just go and start the color grading directly. This is another great feature. Like, I love when it comes to this new Photoshop and the new camera that comes with it. So there are so many tools. So my favorite tools of it all is the one I made mention of earlier, which is the Adobe Firefly, whereby I use in generating backdrops. And the next one is the remove tool. If you want to remove probably a subject from the picture, and it's going to fill that area up for you. I said the person was not there to begin with. And this is some of the AI tool I love when it comes to Photoshop. And they've done more advancement in the AI feature, which is the Adobe Firefly. 
from the previous 2024 version the new version the ones i they dropped last year some of the image givers are not photorealistic most of them are just ai they are generated with ai though but they look much like a cartoon than a real image but with this year version there's been an improvement to the added firefly so i'll be telling you as i dive deep into the photoshop 2025 but this is the thing that i've covered so far which i have to love so see you guys in my next video this next out